My first impression of Tony was that he kind of fits that same cliche you find in West Hollywood with the really successful older gay guys who tend to date the younger men, or as Patty likes to call them, twinks. I'm gonna make sure that you don't date those men just to fill up the time. Tony is cool. He wrote for Joan Rivers. I mean, in the gay world, that's like he's God. And if Joan Rivers is in this room, which I know she is, she's gonna help you find love and change your energy when you're caught up in that lifestyle, you get really comfortable. Tony it has to make some really big shifts in his life to get everlasting love. Annalisa's problem when it came to dating was the fact that she was very uh, alpha female. She bigger, better deals it. She's got shiny ball syndrome. A She's dating got ADD. ADD. She juggles men, so it's like going from floor to floor to floor and her feeling like, you know, the world is a buffet of men for her. How many people do you sleep with a week? <laughs> I, I have my favorites. So you have a rotation of regulars? I do. Annalisa did really well in the reality check. I'm not gonna fix you up if you're seeing other people. You're gonna have to break up with them today. She actually got on the phone and broke up with her friends with benefits guys, and she took it to heart. I'm ready. I wanna do this. No bull I have a confession about these. Yeah. I only like the top part. I really, I only like the bottom part. <laughs> After Tony's date, which was a wine pairing with junk food, which was really original and I thought it was pretty cool. I don't feel a romantic match with either of the guy. So I was in complete shock when Tony, after kissing, both Jack and Angel decided he didn't want to check out with either one. If Something I can't fix you up, who the f can?